So I googled how intense is Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. And the first thing that came up, it said, eh, if, if you can handle uh, the mind train at Magic Kingdom, you'll be fine on Guardians of the Galaxy. That is complete bull. Brian here, I am at Epcot today. What I'm gonna do is ride for the very first time Guardians of the Galaxy. It was not easy for me to get here and get on a boarding group for this attraction. I'm here to tell you, watch what I did before I got here just to ride this attraction. It's 4.46 in the morning. I just filled my car up with gas. I'm heading up to Epcot for the day. Let me put Epcot into the GPS and see what time the GPS says I'm gonna be there. Ooh, it says Disney's Epcot Center. Wow. So my GPS still calls it Epcot Center. Wow. That's amazing. All right, here we go. All right, 192 miles. It says I'll arrive at 7.53 a.m., which is right before the gates open. Oh, man. Let's go. So I wanted to ride Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. I haven't had the chance yet. So I'm on my way at about... 10 minutes till 7 a.m. I pulled off the turnpike on my way to Epcot so that I could make the reservation online. I refreshed, I refreshed like a minute before seven and right at seven, I hit refresh. I got a reservation. I'm in the queue, but not until four in the afternoon. And I was right there at seven. I was planning on heading home before then, but I'm gonna wait around. I'll ride it and then right after I ride it, I'll go home then. But man, it is hard to get a good time on these really high in-demand rides. This is the Starbucks about 10, 12 miles from Disney on Osceola. I need coffee bad. And the Starbucks inside Epcot sucks. So this was absolutely shocking. My callback time when I got in the virtual queue this morning was four in the afternoon. And I just got a notification on the Disney Genie at 1.30 to show up and ride Guardians of the Galaxy. So, boy, that's going to make my day a lot easier because I was really done and was just looking to sit and kill time till 4. And I am super excited that I don't have to wait till 4. It actually looks better in person, up close, than it did during the construction, no doubt about that. So 
my first time riding Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. I've been off the ride for about 25 minutes and I am still sick to my stomach. I'm pretty sick, I gotta tell you. I've got some severe motion sickness and wow. So when I was about to board the train, there was someone in the queue and I heard them talking about getting motion sickness on this ride. They were worried about it. So I Googled, how intense is Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind? And the first thing that came up, it said, eh, if, if you can handle uh, the mind train at Magic Kingdom, you'll be fine on Guardians of the Galaxy. That is complete bullshit. I'm here to tell you, it is very, very intense. There are drops. They're small, right? They're not long drops, but you're going so fast and spinning so much, they're pretty intense. And you're going around and around and around at a high rate of speed, 60 miles an hour. Now I did have my hat off, so my hat wasn't in danger, but I had my Ray-Bans in my shirt here and they almost came out. I grabbed them. So with my left hand, I was holding onto my Ray-Bans and in my right hand, I was holding on to my iPhone 14 Pro Max that I just got like two weeks ago. And when they tell you to put your communication device away, do it, do it. I am so lucky that I didn't lose my phone. In fact, about halfway into the ride, I was so sick, I was so terrified. I'm spinning and spinning and spinning. I'm holding with my left hand my Ray-Bans, my right hand, I'm holding my iPhone. And I said to myself, if I lose my iPhone 14, it's okay. I was ready to just let it go. It was so <laughs> intense. I'm like, I'll let the iPhone go. It won't be any big deal. I've got Apple Care, so uh, I, it'll be okay. I was ready. That's how intense it was. It just really caught me off guard. Now, with that being said, I'll ride it again, and I'll be more prepared next time. But don't buy when people are telling you, oh, Space Mountain, it's a little bit more intense than Space Mountain. If you can handle the mine train, it is a lot more intense than Space Mountain. It is a lot more intense than the mine train, which is not intense at all. And uh, wow, <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really shocked and I'm still sick to my stomach. I mean, I am pretty sick to my stomach. I really am. So uh, wow, that's that. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video. And if you're new here, subscribe. My name's Brian, this is Main Street Moments, and I'll see you next time.